welcome to Lead the Cut at Work. When it comes to 3D models, an architectural model always consists of intelligent objects. There are many special and intelligent functions, especially when modeling openings. So today I would like to show you some functions on the example of the window. You can see a three-part 3D window. If we now open the parameter dialog, we will find the well-known window settings. In the frame parameters, you can now select the floor plan depiction of the frame as a single line or detailed, block frame or normal frame, whether the window should open inwards or outwards and the type of opening symbol. The projection side should be 2.5 and the settings are confirmed with a click on OK. As you see, a window can be depicted in great detail. Further configurations can now be done in the parameter settings of the window. Let's switch to the tool for window division and mountains. Often the inside and outside of the window frame do not have the same color and therefore different color values or visualization materials can be selected for the interior or exterior. Subsequently, the window handles can now be set appropriately to the distance of the string. They can be selected from the library or downloaded from the manufacturer at any time. Different handles can be used on the outside and inside, which is particularly common on entrance doors, for example, a knob on the outside and a lever on the inside. Everything is possible here. The lock next to the editing side provides the option to adopt the same handle inside and outside. The orientation of the handles can also be configured individually. In case of a window with several casements, it's possible to automatically provide all wings with a handle with just one click. The handle properties can be transferred to all or just individual handles. The integrated management makes it possible to delete them or to switch between the individual handles after setting them. For example, to change the material of a window handle. After confirming the changes with it, the handles are visible not only in 3D, but also in 2D. When it comes to window labeling, it is possible to either use a total width labeling or an individual wing labeling. With just one click, you can choose between the two options here at any time. In the labeling parameters, other desired settings can be configured very easily, such as the formatting of the text, the length of the center line, the size of the text, and so on. With a click on OK and apply, the labeling is updated accordingly. If each individual casement is to be labeled, this can simply be changed in the settings and the change is accepted when you confirm. In addition, each wing can be individually defined. The type of the opening, the opening angle, the opening direction and the pen and line parameters for the 2D floor plan and view can be set. In terms of design, you really have a free choice here. When you confirm, the plan is updated immediately and the two individually configured wings can be seen. If we now look at the model, the window lintel immediately catches the eye. This is not only available for the window, but also for the door as a door lintel. The lintel is a child object of the window and the corresponding settings are defined in the window parameters. The lintel can be configured here. Height, width, offset and depth, all relevant parameters can be set. When a window size is changed, the length and position of the associated lintel also changes and is statically and technically correctly displayed. The lintel can be displayed in 2D and 3D and of course also adopts the color of the associated room if it is placed on the floor with a specially relevant manner. Specially defined window types, including their settings, can also be saved for later projects at any time. So these are really intelligent objects and the windows can be depicted and configured in any detail. See you next time!